A partir de agora, você vai conhecer os sucessos que a Top Tape reservou para maio e junho em cinema e vídeo. As namoradas do papai. Ela procura um pai para adotar uma menina. Ele procura uma mãe para sua filha. E elas querem ser irmãs. As namoradas do papai. Uma comédia com Christy Alley, de Olha Quem Está Falando, e Steven Gutenberg, de Três Solteirões e Um Bebê. Jogo da Verdade. John Bon Jovi é um pintor que desperta em quatro mulheres sentimentos e fantasias adormecidas que mudam totalmente suas vidas. Uma comédia romântica com um elenco incrível. Whoop Goldberg, Kathleen Turner, Elizabeth Perkins e Gwyneth Paltrow. Barber Wire, a justiceira. Ninguém mexe com esta garota. Aguarde nos cinemas Barber Wire, a justiceira. Pamela Anderson Lee, do seriado SOS Malibu, em um filme dos mesmos produtores de O Máscara, baseado nos quadrinhos de maior sucesso nos Estados Unidos. Em maio e junho, nos melhores cinemas. Assista agora os lançamentos em vídeo da Top Tape para maio e junho. Você não pode perder. Lançamentos em vídeo de maio. Os últimos passos de um homem. A mais apaixonante atriz do nosso tempo. O mais provocante ator de sua geração. A história mais marcante do ano. Susan Sarandon. Vencedora do Oscar 96 de Melhor Atriz e Sean Penn, Melhor Ator no Festival de Berlim em Os Últimos Passos de um Homem. Uma história real e desafiadora com direção de Tim Robbins. Citizen X. Oito anos de busca, 52 vítimas, um frio assassino nas ruas e apenas um homem disposto a capturá-lo. Donald Shutterland. Globo de Ouro 96 de Melhor Ator Coadjuvante, Stephen Rea. Melhor Ator no Festival de Cinema do Cairo 95, em uma história real e empolgante. Citizen X, um dos filmes mais premiados do ano. Conexão Mortal. Controlar uma valiosa rota de tráfico de drogas se tornou uma questão de honra para Johnny. Acusado injustamente de traição, ele terá de enfrentar a polícia e seus antigos amigos para recuperar o respeito e salvar sua vida. Lançamentos em vídeo de junho. Agora e sempre. Elas se encontraram depois de muito tempo para reviver as aventuras de um verão inesquecível. Demi Moore, Melanie Griffith, Rose O'Donnell e Christina Ricci Aprendem que a inocência pode não ser eterna, mas uma amizade dura para sempre. Operação Xangai. Drogas, dinheiro e mulheres. A violência e a luta pelo poder no submundo da máfia chinesa em uma exuberante reconstituição de época. Um filme do consagrado diretor de Lanternas Vermelhas, Zhang Mu, com Gong Li. Melhor fotografia no Festival de Cannes 96 e indicado ao Oscar de melhor filme estrangeiro. Caçador da noite. Sempre existiram as criaturas que reconhecemos como vampiros. E contra estes seres da noite, a única proteção da humanidade são os caçadores. Jack Cutter, o último caçador da noite. E sua missão é eliminar os últimos vampiros da Terra antes do próximo eclipse e impedir que nosso mundo se transforme em um inferno. Confira nos melhores cinemas e na sua locadora a qualidade dos sucessos Top Take. Top Take, o máximo em emoção e diversão.
What's the score? 98-91. Who's winning? 98. Nice dress. I'm gonna go sit over there. Hey, sorry I'm late. I had to stop home. Can I get a beer? Whatever's on tap. Melanie calls me in the car on the way over. Says the babysitter's sick and she's gotta take Sarah to school tonight. The second I get in the door, the kids are crawling all over me. Next thing you know, I'm on the floor making Jerry Lewis noise. You, you feeling all right, Pop? You, you look anemic. Your color's not the same. I don't remember sending you to medical school. Are we gonna be a little nasty tonight, Pop? Or maybe you dragged me down here to discuss your lack of sex life. Just be happy I once had a sex life. So Melanie says I don't spend enough quality time with the kids. I'm good for about nine minutes of Lego. I told her Sarah's three years old, I'm 35. It's not like we got a lot in common. Pop, take a look at that. A lovely apparition sent to be a moment's ornament with a major league touch to boot. You know the difference between men and women, Pop? I figured it out. A man looks at a woman and pictures her with no clothes on. A woman looks at a man and pictures him with better clothes on. Let's go, Motormouth. Go, oh, I just got here. What? Wait a minute. You know, I really enjoy these moments, Pop. Pop, where are you going? Oh, wait. Did he just call you Pop? Fine, because I didn't know you had kids. Is that what you do know? Oops. Let's go, Tommy. Ooh, would you get some heap judge to reach out this morning? <laughs> <laughs> Why you gotta come here for? Are you trying to embarrass me? Because I'm getting tired. You pull me on the same cock and make me charge every time you got nothing better to do. I got better to do. Let's go. Oh, what? Oh, you're gonna pull me in, pull me in. Come on, I might as well have some fun. Well, then I hope you're paid up on your police brutality insurance, Tommy. Hey. Shut up! Are you upset, Tommy? Or do you think you're talking to your mother? Again, and I'll kill you! Don't even think about it. Abraham Moses, why don't you be a smart Jew boy? Why didn't you tell me you were on the job? I didn't ask you down here to help you make a bust. I asked you down for a drink and conversation. And next time, don't be late. Kiss the kids. Go home now, detective. Hey, uh, I still have three minutes on the meter. Hey, could you loosen these cuffs? No. Yeah. Inspector, what the hell is going on? Paul, I've been waiting here 20 minutes. I got a right to see my client.
you doing home? Well, where should I be? Out on a date, maybe? No, maybe not. Keep telling you, Daddy, I'm too old to be dating. Of course, I'm too young not to be. But... Listen, sweetheart, I want you to do something for me. I want you to throw me a birthday party. <laughs> Katie. Well, I, I heard you. It just... Gee, Daddy, I, for the last 20 years, I've been asking you if we can make you a birthday party, and you say, well, maybe when the brewers win the pennants. So what, did I miss a parade down Wisconsin Avenue? Make the party, but no more than 10 people. Oh, well, that's cute. You got four children, four grandchildren, not a lot of room on the guest list for friends. I don't want friends. I want family. And I want you to call Jackie. It's a waste of a dime, Daddy. I'll pay. Good night, baby. Hey, gorgeous, anything new? Nice. <laughs> Cinderella man call? Nope, the phone hasn't rung all day. Oh, weird. Fine. Hello? Jackie, it's for you. I'll take it in my room. Jackie, it's Eddie. Oh, hi, little brother. How are you, Contessa? How am I? Oh, well. I'm... Jackie, this is a very expensive long-distance call. You can speed up your responses a bit. I'm fine, and I'm not coming home for Daddy's birthday. Kate already called. Okay. So when are you coming home? I am home. California is not a home. It's a place. And we'll accept you back here as long as you're vaccinated. <laughs> Jackie, Dad really wants you to come home. He even mouth the words. He needs to see you. Then why didn't he call? What's the difference? There's a difference. Damn it, I hate Milwaukee. Two lousy days. Two lousy days of taking crap from Ben and Kate. I promise, if they say anything disparaging, I'll, I'll... Oh, okay. What are you gonna do, Dudley? Well, not much. <laughs> but I'll certainly speak to them harshly. <laughs> Jackie, come home. Let me know when your plane gets in. Two words in the English language, when spoken together, drive men wild. Uh, Lingerie model. Oh. Mm. Mm -hmm. You look like a cop. Hey, Jackie, Philo, howdy. Somewhere in limo you got here, Philo. Just don't hit your knee on the gun rack as you get in, ma'am. Hey, Eddie, I thought you said she was pretty. Milwaukee, he should bottle it and sell it as value. This is it. When did you move to the third ward? I didn't. This is Kate's place. Damn it, Eddie! You said I was staying with you. Oh, well, I think you extrapolated. Extrapolate my butt. I'm out of here. I, Jackie, it's gonna be fine. Trust me, trust me, trust me. Come on, you get to see Ben. 
and all the kids. Jackie, you'd be too kinky. You, me, and the doctor, my single bed. Did I mention I had a girlfriend in medical school? Brilliant mind. Listen, I gotta go chase villains. I'll see you later. Look at you, Miss Corporate. Your bosses know how much sex and drugs you do when you're not in that uniform. Jackie, how can you stand this, Marcy? It's not a bad job. I can work my way up to hotel manager. Well, I'm not like you, Jackie. I don't have the guts just to go off someplace on my own. Besides, I like it here. Come on, tell the truth. You don't miss Milwaukee even a little? Oh, sure. I miss beer, bowling, bratwurst, sweating in summer, slipping on my ass in winter, shoveling snow in 12 degrees with wind chill factor of minus 30. I miss being so cold that I have to wear two bras. Mr. Novacek, this is my friend, Jackie Fine. She's from California. Do you need me for anything? Yes, Marcy, I do. I need you to spend a few moments with the Florida people while I speak to the Boston crowd. Of course, I'll go right over. How much do you pay for your socks? $89.95. They come with a lifetime warranty, sailor. <laughs> nice to have met you. Is there a country associated with that accent? Yeah, the land of the rich and famous. Jackie, that's Adam Novacek. Wow! Who's Adam Novacek? You. Don't you read the papers? Know, Mr. Sure. Not every day. I gotta go. Hey, listen, why don't you come back after your dad's birthday party? After I'll be too severely wounded to stand. Therefore, I'm going to agree to the prosecution's recommendation and impose the maximum sentence. Six months to run concurrent to time remaining on parole revocation. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah, Bobby got a job as a garbage man. Bobby can be tough and Bobby can be kind. She never hesitates to speak her mind. She laughs and rolls in titles, they don't matter at all. Women can play because they're old downfall. Just get out. Make yourself at home. Make yourself at home. Rough day. One of your clients get shafted. A hooker. She gets six months in the tombs for making people happy while every day some fat yo-yo embezzles a hundred million dollars and plays golf with the president. So, uh, I called you earlier. Where were you? Went to see Marcy. She works at the Royal Milwaukee. Look, we don't have to talk, you know. Are you, um, working out there in California? Waitressing. Does that count as working in your vocabulary? I thought Eddie said you had some job at a graphic art place. Yeah. I had to leave that wage in May. My steer worked there, and he was, like, the social climbing junior vice presidential geek. <laughs> Jackie, I admit your generation knows how to express itself, but... I said I quit that job because I wanted to end the affair I was having with my married boss. Whew, that's fresh. Slept with everyone in Milwaukee now. You're sleeping your way through California. Yep. Should be down to Baja by Christmas. How about you? Who are you sleeping with? Here we go again. Mr. Shazam, 
soft. Into the cupboard. It's not here. Oh, move, move things. Maya, will you clean up that mess for me, please? I'll get my clothes dirty. Get them off, sweetheart, before you become one. Jackie's not your problem, so don't blow up at her. <laughs> Benny, please don't ruin this for your dad. Cross your heart or I hope you die. Just, just give her a break, Benny. She said more breaks and left to get a relief pitcher on crack. Blow the heartache she's caused the old man. Now she's back in California. She'll probably blame on her dysfunctional family. We're not the ones that are dysfunctional. Will you shut up in there? Yes. Well, Benny, don't let the kids distract you. Go on with your diatribe. We made her do drugs. We made her steal. We made her forge checks. We made her max out the old man's credit card. We made her sleep with every two bit degenerate with a five cent bag. Oh, and I remember to tell you that we turned her into an alcoholic, too. Hey, good diatribe, Benny. I give that about a 6.8. You know, if she had one ounce of morality, I just can't understand how a person with her brains could be so irresponsible and weak. And shut up. Be nice. Make me. Hi. Hi, Jackie. Hey, look who's Hi. here. Hi. Hi. Oh, great to see you. Thank you. Look at you. Oh, my God, you look fantastic. Wow. Hey. Hi. Hey, Benny. You're looking kind of tired. Mm, night feedings, you know how it is. Mm -hmm. No, I don't know how it is. You will. Yeah. <laughs> Maya. Hey, honey, do me a favor. Take this out to Grandpa. Well, that's a picture of Captain Kirk giving his daughter a beer. <laughs> it's Daddy's birthday. Don't start a fight. <laughs> Here, Grandpa. Thank you. You want to push your sisters down? I was watching MTV. MTV? What's that? Music videos. Lots of naked women groveling around in front of tattooed guitar players. Oh, yeah? What channel? <laughs> Hi, Daddy. Up we go! <laughs> Happy birthday, Daddy. Jumping, are you? No. Contemplating throwing up. Excuse me. There. Now I can start drinking again.
very rich man. Yes. Uh, I was fortunate my father was born before I was. Yeah, me too. You're not going in today. You've already caught your quota of murderers for this month. Three more. We get that weekend. <laughs> in the Wisconsin. Stop. Oh. Ben. <laughs> Stop it. You're going to crush the baby. And I'm not making any more. <laughs> well, then what do I need? Get out. Get out. Oh. Get out. Ben. Make my breakfast coffee. Go. <laughs> Come back when you've changed your mind. <laughs> Eddie, what? When? Inspector! Inspector! There's an urgent call for you. PK, 23 caliber. Nice shot. Who is he? I'm Novacek. Novacek? Whoa! Sit down. What happened here? I don't know. Well, let's start with this. How did you get here? He brought me, um, somebody carried me, not him. I think it was his driver. I was on a bridge throwing up. What time? I don't know. What happened to the driver? I don't know. I guess he left. Do you remember falling asleep? Kind of. Were you here all night? Did you screw him? Ben, damn it! Jackie, we have to know everything. There's a gun in there. You know anything about it? I saw it this morning. I picked it up. Jackie! Your prints are all over that gun? I was surprised. I woke up and it was right next to me. I, I touched it before I even saw him. We gotta get our prints off. Sit down, Eddie. You didn't hear any shots. I woke up. I saw him. I called Eddie. We gotta get her out of here. Well, that's a great idea. 
Then maybe we can go to Summerfest. Hey, Master of the Universe, you want to go? We'll get the hell out of here. Eddie, call the brewery. Tell them there's been a homicide. Don't tell them it's Novacek, and don't tell them it's your sister. What the hell is he supposed to tell him? That he doesn't know her? Fall it in. Dad, I don't think this is a good time to start covering things up. Now, before the police get here, I want you to tell us everything again. From the moment you left Ben's house last night until this morning. And when the police get here, give them your mother's maiden name. Dad, you can't! Daddy, I'm scared. Everything's gonna be all right, baby. I'll take care of everything. Nobody in or out, right? There was the body. Inspector, what are you doing? I'm not here. This way. Yeah, I want the shot. All right, I want nobody touching the body. Look after your sister. Yes, sir. Jimmy? This is dumb telling her a lie. It needs advice of the time. But if she's innocent? If you think your sister could kill a man? Yeah, I do. She was plowed out of her mind. She's shacking up with a guy who's old enough to be her old man. Who knows what the hell games they were playing in there last night? He gets a little out of line, she gets a little scared. Look, Pop, do I think she shot him? I don't know, but you sure as hell think it's possible. You wouldn't be telling her a lie. And don't walk away from me. I'm trying to be rational here. You're the one who could be screwing things up for her. By this afternoon, they're gonna know who Jackie is, and they're gonna order you and I off this case because we're family. You know that. They're gonna order us to leave it alone. You want to leave it alone? You want off the case? I'm Anna Novacek. Mr. Novacek, I'm Inspector Paul Fine, Lieutenant Ben Fine. I'm afraid we've come with bad news. My husband? His body was found this morning. You weren't worried that your husband didn't come home last night? He often stayed at the hotel. Why weren't you at the celebration last night? My husband spared me from his business events whenever he could. Mrs. Novacek, there was a young woman in the room with him last night. I loved my husband. I believe in all the years that we were married, he never cheated on me. Continue to believe that. Uh, Mrs. Novacek. Mrs. Novacek, there will be other detectives visiting you today. Inspector, will, will I be asked to identify the body? That can wait until tomorrow. Goodbye, Mrs. Novacek.
brewery precinct to low. You didn't break into no damn vending machine. I want to make sales. Now we got evidence all over the Hello, the brewery. Inspector, okay. okay. where's the girl on the Novichek murder? I'm holding. I don't know. You don't know. Who are you? I'm Assistant District Attorney Jennifer Locke. Who are you? Inspector Fine from Division. Oh, well, we're here to get a statement from Miss Lasky. What statement? Did you inform her she doesn't have to make a statement? Inspector, we haven't charged Miss Lasky with anything as yet. They want me to give a pap smear. Miss Lasky has been informed of her Miranda rights. Did you ask for a lawyer? She's asking for a lawyer. Until one arrives, she's keeping her mouth shut, not saying anything. Wait a minute, what is this? This is the law. <sighs> Officer! Look at me, I just graduated from jailbait to jailbird. Since when do police advise clients not to speak to the DA's office? That's obstruction! Whoa, a gaggle of lawyers. What'd you do, Swanee? I didn't do anything, it's your inspector, fine. Fines here? That's right, on a Novacek murder. Nobody told us. That's why we're here. Excuse me. Hey, I, I gotta go. Miss Swanee. What? Did he really think that nobody was going to find out that she was his daughter? What else did he do, Ben? I wouldn't bother sending anybody to notify the widow Novacek. Inspector, I advise you as a friend. I appreciate that, Lieutenant. I understand why you're doing what you're doing. But this whole investigation could be compromised if you and Ben involved yourselves. Can't you see you'll just be hurting your daughter's case? I'll take that chance. You better keep him out of this, Ben. They're gonna keep her in jail the whole 72 hours before they even decide on bail. Why can't you defend her? I can't defend her. We'll get Avram Weiss. He's the best lawyer in my office. Public defender's office? Yeah. Why can't we hire a real lawyer? <laughs> oh, thanks, little brother. Yeah, we can get a big shot lawyer. You ready to mortgage everything you own? Why not? It's a waste of money. We'll find the damn money. Listen, Jackie qualifies as an indigent. Avram's a terrific lawyer. He's won lots of cases. Hey, Sparky, wake up. Why are you arguing with me? Hey, I can argue. Fascism is dead, Mussolini. Hey, didn't uh, Avram Weiss represent Jeffrey Dahmer? No. A difficult case. Mmm, <laughs> good soup. It's broth. Broth <laughs> soup, my favorite. Hey, I where's Dad? Cake. I told you. Was I listening when you told me? Well, I think so. You said, uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad you guys think this is so funny. We guys? No, Benny. We don't think anything's funny but you. Hey, Ben, it's okay to be a jerk. The sensitive and supportive man of the 80s is dead. Well, I still think that one of you guys should have stayed with Dad. I mean, who knows what the hell he's doing? He does? Mm -hmm. hey, come on, come on. Hey, 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 come on. Oh, oh, oh. Rampola! 
You want to talk here or down at the brewery? You got some nerve bother, Miss Rampola. After what you've done to Tommy, I guess it's true, huh? You Jews got piss in your veins. Oh! Ah! Oh! Calma, calma. Someone murdered Adam Novacek. Money doesn't buy eternity. It was a professional hit. If you set up my daughter because I busted Tommy, I'd put Tommy away. I'll keep him away. I'll be up at the parole board every time he's got a hearing if anything happens to my daughter. doing, Detective? I mean, Lieutenant Detective First Grade, Mr. Fine. How did you get this number, you little turd? Oh, Daddy said turd. He said turtle, sweetheart. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing ever changes, you know? You're still the only guy I know who can hear somebody giving him the finger. Why are you so negative, Sergeant? I haven't had my fruity pops. What do you want? Daddy, give me zero down. Sarah, be quiet. Oh, you got little ones. You've got three seconds. Lieutenant. One second. There was a murder the other night on Wisconsin Avenue. Dial 911. Adam Novacek. <laughs> Daddy. Sarah, shut up. Ben, don't talk to the kids like that. I want the gun! No, please! Yeah, For God's sake! Want... Would everybody please shut up? <laughs> Come on, everybody. Let's get out of here. Come on. <laughs> got your attention now, huh? Yeah. Yeah, you got my attention. Now, what about Novacek? I hear his wife hired somebody to deliver him to our Lord and Maker. I even heard the name of the shooter. I might be willing to mention it over lunch on the river. No, no, no. Make it breakfast. Do you mind if I ask you a question? As a detective, I was the father of the girl that was found in bed with my husband. Do you know if your husband had any dealings with a man named Frank Rampola? No, I don't remember ever hearing that name. Is there anything else? Shooter, a guy by the name of Horace Martin. How do you know? Me and Martin do business together on occasion. You riding on your partners, Lenny? No. I'm cooperating with the police. That's a good idea. According to your sheet, you got some new charges pending. Dealing, kiting. Clerical mistakes, I'm sure, are very, very easily corrected. Hey, 
Selling phony bus passes to old people? I'd like to see the elderly be, uh, mobile. What did you do with Martin on this job? He got paid for the hit with a diamond ring. Round, brilliant, 58 facet, VS2, near colorless with a gold leaf setting. He asked me to fence it. Hey, shut up! All right? Now where's the ring? I fenced it! And don't ask me where, it's probably in some guys here in Colombia. Look, I'm willing to help you guys. All you gotta do is throw in a couple of bucks. My little Kathy needs braces. I didn't know you had a daughter, Lenny. I don't. It's my girlfriend. That's cute. <laughs> Where's Horace Martin? My brother was shot with high-powered bullets. Went through his vest like it was butter. <laughs> this is fine. He was shot four times. Um, one bullet caused damage to his heart and his lungs. Too much damage. He is still alive. I'm better, um... Nurse Edward, I, the kids say I think they need me. I... No, I, I wouldn't go anywhere just now. Damn parole officer, you're supposed to know where he is, you moron! Find him! Or smart, graduated the Green Bay Reformatory, doing five to nine, got parole in three. Inspector, look, I've got every man in the brewery and call. Guy's coming out for vacation. 
Oh, and by the way, the mayor offers his support. Have you seen him in the last week? Damn, if he's Inspector Abraham Lincoln, he can't touch me that way. The dumb old... Jail, jail! Hey, 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 hey! Hey, hey, enough! You're off the charts, you son of a bitch. Get back your things and get out. Well, shut up! This is not a conversation! Dad! They just transferred Jackie to county. So just meat loaf and those little green sour pickles for lunch. I think they put just the right percentage of fat in the meat loaf. That's Benny. God, why did I ever come back here? Because I asked you to. No, you didn't. You asked Kate and Eddie to call me. Why? Why couldn't you just leave me alone? My life is a mess in California, too, but at least I'm not hurting you. I wanted you to come back. Never by. It doesn't matter now. It does. Jackie, your mom. She was the best person they ever knew. She died before you had a chance to know her. I haven't done a great job of replacing her. Listen to me. When should we get you out of here, I promise? Anything, I'm the one that should be promising. All of this is my fault. I promise. Dad, I need to do something. Okay, I'll tell you what, you find Lenny Glover. He's the snitch. He hangs out at Deutsch's on the south side, okay? Dr. Cordina to emergency. Hi. I'm Celia Brent. I'm a friend of Eddie's. Eddie's not here. Oh, I, I know. Um, I just thought I'd come by and, and see how Ben's doing. Not great. Celia. Please, come sit down here. Excuse me, I've had too much coffee. It's OK. Ben's mom died when Kate was 16. But Ben was 13. Eddie was just four. Jackie was a baby. Their dad, he never remarried. He should have. 
Kate was a mother to the three kids. Kate was the only one who didn't have a mother after that. Speaking of, of marriage, Eddie tells me that you won't marry him because he's a cop. No, it's just, don't apologize. I'm not apologizing, I just think that. I know exactly what you think. I think it every day of my life. This is fine. Dr. Johnson, Dr. Johnson to station six west, please. What? His, his lungs are full of blood, so they're going to have to open him up again. But he's still alive. Yo, what's happening, my brother? I'm looking for a man named Lenny Glover. He's a good friend of mine. You're a cop. You're right. I'm still looking for Glover. Appalachian's my kind of people. Now what? I'm turning this thing back on again at your party. Hey, hey, hey! Lenny Glover. He's with your wife. <laughs> <laughs> okay, everybody on my right, get up off your chairs. You're all under arrest. Oh. I'll read these people the rights. <laughs> right, right. The rights. Arrest for what? Well, I'm not sure I can generalize at this point. Now, once I get to know everyone, I'll be better able to assign specific charges on a more personal level. Because I'm sure there's some people in here carrying drugs, huh? Others possibly concealed weapons. Maybe there's a parole violator. And you, you're under arrest as well. And I'll be very interested to see what the charge is. You can't arrest people and then look for a reason. Oh, well, then you've got nothing to worry about. I'm sure you've got a great lawyer. And if not, I'd like to recommend my sister. She's a public defender. Just in case some of you can't afford that high-priced dream team counseling, huh? Now, everybody up! You heard the man. Let's go. Get up. Up, up. Up, 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 up. Come on. Whoa, whoa, come here. I'll do something. Who'd you say you were looking for? Lenny skipped town. Probably means the shooter's gone, too. I told you Lenny skipped. Well, we roused the bar he sent us to. Lenny's a degenerate lice bucket who's been outside Milwaukee twice in his life. And that was at the state's expense. His friend sold you a fairy tale. to do, Inspector. Just let me know. Mrs. Novacek, you have the right to an attorney. Why would I need an attorney? Because we have reason to believe you hired the man who killed your husband.
Your Honor, we oppose bail in this case. Ms. Fine has a past record of unstable behavior. Just last year, she was allowed to plea bargain two felony thefts. She's completed her probation, Your Honor. There yes. is no chance my client will abscond. That'll be the first Ms. Fine thing. has family yes, here. Yes, we all know whose family that is. Your but Honor. Okay. I get the picture. Bail is set in the amount of $500,000. $500,000. Alvin, do you know how many times you have to wet your thumb to count $500,000? It's better than we expected, Kate. I'll drop by and see you this afternoon, okay? Hey, we're gonna get you out. We only have to come up with 10% of the bail. That's only $50,000. Only. We'll find it. Hey. <laughs> so it looks better on you than it does on me. You never saw this man or spoke with him? No. You wouldn't be lying to us, would you, Mrs. Novacek? I'm not in the habit of lying. Maybe it's not your habit. Maybe you just do it once in a while. Is insult the preferred method of interrogation these days? No. Inspe Inspector, you're not supposed to be in here. Please. I understand that your daughter is implicated in my husband's murder, and you would like to absolve her of the blame, but... If you would just let me know why you think I would have any reason to kill my husband. Mrs. Novacek, you are going to go to jail. I don't care if you hire every lawyer in the country. If you did this, you are going to go to jail. What do you do? I'm sorry? I said, what do you do? Do you work? Or do you just spend all day arranging flowers? What do you do? Charity work. I do charity work. And I arrange flowers. Hold her for another 24 hours. What charge? I don't care. Inspector, this is crazy. And I'm getting a little uncomfortable with this here. She's never been interrogated. She'll break. Paul, we have nothing to hold her on. Your snitch is dead. There is no link to her. You know, I shouldn't even have let you talk me to ring her in. And you shouldn't have talked to her. If she really is a suspect. She really is a suspect, and I'm telling you to hold this suspect for 24 hours. Can you do that, Lieutenant? No. You want her? You take her downtown. Okay, uh, we'll take her downtown. But, Paul. Maybe you should hold back. You're very emotional about this. Yeah, emotional. Inspector Fine, I'm inquiring after Ben Fine. Thanks. How is he? Alive. Then there's hope. I understand why you're doing this. But you should know that I loved my husband very much. He was a wonderful man. I'm sorry about your son and your daughter. But I've done nothing wrong. I've nothing to hide except my own grief.
pieces. Only one piece. Get the one to talk okay, to Okay, honey, I'll get it. Oh, I don't want any more. Okay, honey. Find me the formula. Find me the formula. Okay. I need the formula. Here's the formula. Yeah, sweetie. Okay. It goes in the microwave. Right. Okay, honey. Yeah, you really don't want All right. it. Okay. I'll get you. I'll get you what you want. Okay. All right. There we go. Okay, Maya. Tali. Oh, Sarah, honey. Maya, Tali. Talia. Okay, watch out. Maya. Talia, this isn't funny. Hi. Hi. Okay, I'm sorry, honey. I'm Jackie. Hi. Hi, sweetie. Um, listen, I'm going to leave you here. Looks like you've got everything under control. I'll bring a pizza back for lunch, okay? Have fun. Okay. Hi, I'm Celia. Hi, I'm Jackie. I'm the family curse. Oh. <laughs> um, well, looks like you could uh, use a hand. Uh, just tell me what you want me to do. Your choice. Uh, change a diaper or clean projectile vomit off the rug. <laughs> okay, I'll change diaper. Ooh, it's shiny stuff. <laughs> Oh, my eyes. oh, real. <laughs> What's funny? Uh, nothing, Inspector. Uh, I was just looking at that painting. I was just saying I didn't know Rembrandt did ducks. Anything missing? Nothing so far. Uh, we're checking everything she's got listed with the insurance company. I mean, there's enough wampum here to fund the next space shuttle, but it's all here so far. Inspector Fine. Inspector, we've got a lead on Martin, the shooter. Where's Martin? Martin's over there in that building. Well, let's go. We can cover from outside, sir. Yeah, you and Eddie. I'll stay outside. If you tell me you can't handle it. I can't handle it. Let's go. Let's try and get him alive. Hey, who do you think you are hanging out in the bathroom? The Fawns? Dad, you really think Mrs. Novacek hired Martin to kill her husband? I don't know. Lenny said she did, but... His first words in life were probably a lie. Look, we'll find out who killed Novacek. I'm not worried about that. I know. I know, Dan. I know what's eating you. It's Ben and Jackie. And you. Why the hell did you have to become a cop? <laughs> what, have you been talking to Celia? You never said anything before about... I'm saying it now. You and your brother, both smart kids. I don't know why you picked this crap. I sure never told you to. Dad. I've got kids who are cops and this world's become a lousy nightmare for cops. I want my kids to survive. Why, Eddie? Why a cop? 
And don't give me that sentimental bull that because I'm a cop. Dad, it had nothing to do with you. It was, it was the building. It was the brewery. All that old gray stone. I love the brutality of the architecture. The architecture? <laughs> Paul, Paul, we just received a call from the hospital. Ben's conscious. He's out of danger. Have you made any progress in locating my husband's killer? We'll find him. There is this man, this informant, the one that told you that I had hired the man who killed my husband. Can't you just give him a lie detector test? He's dead. Oh, well. I, I don't know why he would have said what he did. I, I don't understand. You don't understand either, do you, Inspector? You don't think I did it. But a dead man said I did. He said... Mrs. Novacek. Your husband have other wives? Other wives? Of course not. He was married before, wasn't he? I found these wedding pictures. He was married once before, many years ago, to Laura. But she certainly didn't kill him. How do you know? Because she's been in a home, an asylum, for over 20 years. She's a schizophrenic. She have visitors? Uh, just Mr. Novacek. What about telephone calls? Uh, our guests have no access to a telephone unless we approve the call first. Otherwise, some of these people would be calling the local radio talk show just about every night. Is she allowed to have money? Oh, no, no. We keep no money here for our clients. Uh, they really don't need any. What about jewelry? Inspector Fine, this is not a mental institute. This is Meccan Valley Manor. We have some very, very important people here. Yes, but can she have jewelry? Well, yes. Yes, of course. Mrs. Novacek. Yes, I'm Mrs. Novacek. I lead a quiet life. I'm able to read, watch the seasons change. I feel that I have the perfect vantage point here from which to view the world without distraction. Excuse me. Who did you say you were? Well, my name is Paul Fine. I've come here to see you about your ex-husband. My husband. He's dead. <laughs> I read about that in the newspaper. He was shot. Do you know who shot him? No. I don't know. Mrs. Novacek. I have been here a long time. I understand. It costs a lot of money to stay in a place like this. My husband has paid for my care for all these years. But now, I have hope to leave here to lead a normal life to go home. I'm feeling so much better these days. I'm so confident now that I will be released. Why is that? 
Because there's no one to keep me here. Now that my husband's dead. Mrs. Novacek. Yes, Mr. Fine. Your wedding ring. You know where it is? Do I have to say? Mrs. Novacek should be ready for release in about 30 minutes. There are reporters crawling all over the front steps and snaking around the halls and... Inspector, you asked me to let you know... I you... heard you, Amy. Thanks. Thank you for having my car around. All those reporters out there, we're not allowed to shoot them? <sighs> Poor Laura. She got sick about two years after she and my husband were married. That was 20 years ago. He paid for her care all these years. Why would she want to kill him now? Looks like she thought if he were dead, there wouldn't be anyone to keep her locked up. It's all so sad. Call me Anna, please. I'm sorry about your husband. I'm happy about your son and your daughter. didn't do it, did she? Yeah, we don't think she did it either. But we're glad that you said it first. How does a woman who's been locked up for 20 years in Snug Harbor contract out a killing? I mean, what she do? Look through the yellow pages for her local hitman? And every time we ask her a question, she tells us her favorite TV show is Queen for a Day, and I Love Lucy isn't as good now that there's a baby in the house. That lady in there is a Never Never Land. And all we've got is a missing wedding ring. If someone could have taken that ring and given it to the shooter to make it look like she hired him. The question is, who's that somebody? Back to her. Watch this, watch it. Back to that. The deal is you give me Horace Martin and I do what I can for Tommy. It's not Tommy I want anyway. As they say, you're the organ grinder and he's just the monkey. You don't give an inch, do you? You come to me begging for a favor, and you still play the white hot cop. If you want, we'll exchange Christmas gifts. <laughs> All right, Mr. White Hot Cop. You wearing a bug? Keep that dirt away from me. Okay. Martin has nothing to do with me. He's independent. 
and is expensive. He's got a place down at Elkhart Lake. I got a guy down there. He'll meet you on the west side of the lake at a little bait and tackle shop called Arthur's in three hours. He'll tell you where Martin's cabin is. You know, you look at me as if it was some kind of snake or something. Uh, you're gonna learn a lot from animals. <laughs> Not too close. Get an ambulance. Who hired you to kill Lovacek? I let the girl live. Your daughter. Martin, I'll call an ambulance as soon as you tell me who paid you to kill Lovacek. Mrs. Lovacek. Which one? Martin, which one? Martin! Which Mrs. Novacek? Novacek, the man who killed your husband is dead. 
Now, before he died, he told me who hired him. He said, Mrs. Novacek. He didn't mean that poor lady who's in the home. He meant you. Inspector Fine. I've been a detective for 37 years, and you're brand new at this. Horace Martin's bank statements. $100,000 transferred from the Bank of Trust, British Virgin Islands by Anatole Limited. That's a charitable corporation that you run, isn't it? You paid for your husband's murder with money that was given to you for charity, didn't you? I took the ring to implicate Laura. But it was only worth $10,000. And that wasn't enough for Mr. Martin. Inspector, I need you to understand. My husband wasn't interested in me. never intended any harm to come to Laura. I knew they'd leave her where she was. They never send her to a prison. Interesting, isn't it? My husband is dead. Old stories, if carried far enough, end in death. All that's left now is for you to arrest me. Anna. You call me Anna. Sitting for two months. Park my car. <laughs> Daddy, Daddy, you have to kiss the mezuzah. Can you kiss it for me, honey, okay? Tell God I own one. Come along, my fleas. <laughs> to the doghouse. You are oh. just getting too big. Daddy's so uh. sore. Mwah. How you doing, gorgeous? No mosquitoes in California. They're not even allowed across the border. Something to do with immigration laws. No smoking there either. They don't even sell ash trees. I'm sorry, Dad. 
Daddy. I'm sorry about everything. I never wanted to hurt you. I'm just so screwed up. I think it's some generational curse. I don't know why I'm always in trouble. Why me? Why not Ben or Kate or Eddie? Well, I hope you're not asking me because you think I've got an answer. <laughs> well, what are your plans for the future? Well, I was gonna go to the bathroom. Did you mean like more long range plans? Mm -hmm. I don't know. Maybe I'll join the police academy. Just joking, just joking, just joking. Can you imagine me a cop? Wouldn't that be something? I'd probably wet my pants the first time I have to shoot a gun. <laughs> Do you call it gun or weapon? Uh, either one. On the other hand, maybe I'd be good at it. What do you think? Oh. What am I asking you for? It's not like I need you to sign a piece of paper or anything. I'm over 21. Some cop you'd make. <laughs> you girls look beautiful. Hey, Pop. Hey, hey, Jackie. Why don't you come over to Happy Thanksgiving, everybody!